Hi again, everyone, and welcome to another night of Georgia Bulldogs basketball tonight from Colonial Life Arena in Columbia, South Carolina, as the 15 and 11 Bulldogs are on the road to face South Carolina. There's no question it's important for the dogs and scrambling to try to finish 9-9 uh, nine and nine in conference play, and in order to do that, they've got to win three of their last four, these final four. Two of them will be at home in Athens, so this is a road win that they need to get. I don't think there's pressure. I think that, that um, uh, obviously there's a desire to, to, to find wins, and, and the goal's always been to win the next game. Saturday afternoon basketball in the SEC. We're here in Athens, Stegman Coliseum. Georgia beat LSU 61 to 60 last month in Baton Rouge. You've got to have the team that we've had on the floor when we've beaten the likes of St. Mary's and, and Marquette. I, Georgia's got to take care and focus on what it can handle, which today is LSU. Inside Georgia Basketball is brought to you by AT&T. Everyone has a thing. That binge watch over the weekend thing. More checking in or checking out thing. No, 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 no. That triple double thing. Doing it yourself, attacking a friend thing. More revolutions in the making thing. That play like a girl thing. <laughs> that four legged like friends thing. AT&T gives you more for your thing. More entertainment, internet, and unlimited plans. More for your thing. Yeah, that's our thing. grateful for this chance to show the passion that I had while I was a gymnast at Georgia, but now I get to have that passion as a head coach. Georgia is not just about your gymnastics. It's not just about that, but it's building you as a person for life. Georgia Gymnastics will win championships again. Go dogs. I wonder if Mike's got it. Hey man, you got it? Of course I got it. Good job, man. Coach, you got it? I'm all over it, man. About time. Hey, Jack, did you get it? Heck yeah, I got that thing. That thing is absolutely incredible, and we need to use it all the time. Awesome. I know you can do it. I think anyone can figure this out. from Colonial Life Arena in Columbia, South Carolina as the 15 and 11 Bulldogs are on the road to face South Carolina with a record of 14 and 13. Georgia hopes to make it three in a row in late February and split the series tonight with South Carolina in what Bulldogs head coach Mark Fox calls a rock fight. This league is a monster and um, you know you're gonna have ups and downs and we had a couple games we didn't play well and they stuck together and um, just kept trying to get better and play the game the right way. And so that's what they've done. And, and they realize this is one game at a time and um, there's more battles ahead. 
got a 10th place Georgia team, a 12th place South Carolina team. So it's not very attractive, but it is a very important game for the Bulldogs. There's no question it's important for the Dogs it's scrambling to try to finish 9-9 uh, nine and nine in conference play. And in order to do that, they've got to win three of their last four, these final four. So this is our opportunity to get a road win. will be in the red road uniform South Carolina in their home white we are ready to go the opening tap won by Claxton and the Bulldogs Georgia will have first possession dogs run it up the other end here's a three right corner by Parker and he nails it Carolina works it over again grab it lob to the rim passes deep Silva catches it one hand under the basket kick out to Booker on the right side for a three and it's good Works on the logo, now drives to the left, bump by Gravit, step back three. Good, and a foul, count the basket. Four-point play coming up for Crump. Bounce feed to Maiton on the left baseline. He spins by Silva, puts it up and in, and the foul. They lead by seven. Booker for three, left wing, good. And we can't stop him, that's his fourth three-pointer. Turtle finds Conte inside. Layup good with a left hand by the freshman. Rabbit pushes it up into the front court, pushes off Turtle, steps back for a three and drains it. Well, this is going to be a half to forget. South Carolina hits a three with two seconds to go in the half to go up 15 points. Dog shooting 35%. First half numbers, South Carolina 33%. The, the turnovers are not even. And that is just no. Good. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah, that we're, yeah, that's been a problem. We're minus eight in turnover margin. Woo. We've got ten. They've got two. Dribbles above the arc, feeds it in to Mate and touch pass out to Hammonds for a three. Good. There Ray we Sean go. Drains a three from the left corner. Turtle off the right wing, screen from Ogbede. Stops at the foul line. He drains a 15 footer. Frank Martin's Frank seen enough. Timeout. South Carolina. The Dogs have cut 15 down to six. 16-17 to go in the ball game. Kind of Hammonds drives, contact on the other side, misses the runner. There's Claxton for a big two-handed stuff on the follow. Grab it with the ball, he sees that. is gonna shoot. Top of the key, three is good. Top of the key sets the screen. Grab it, shoots a three, good. And that's just not good. And South Carolina will hold us to 57 points for the second time this season. 66 to 57, that's our final. Both physical teams and try to pride ourselves on that. Um, so, you know, Silva and the rest of the bigs for South Carolina, you know, they're, they're outstanding bigs. Uh, they don't let you get any easy points, and we try to do the same thing here. You know, we just made some very poor plays. <clears throat> Our point guards made some very poor decisions in the first half. Their team made threes, um, a little bit of out, of out of the character that they've shown this year to shoot the three. Um, but they make 13 threes on the night, and we have 17 turnovers. That really is the difference in the game. But when, you're that, when you dig that kind of hole, um, you have to play almost perfect to get out of it. We didn't do that. Inside Georgia Basketball is brought to you by AT&T. Yeah, I got that thing. That thing is absolutely incredible, and we need to use it all the time. Awesome. I know you can do it. I think anyone can figure this out. Stephanie Paul in the lane for five feet. He scores, and Georgia wins. A thrilling finish. Three head of the key. She got it. Her fate, it's good at the buzzer. Mm -hmm. 
so thankful and grateful for this chance to show the passion that I had while I was a gymnast at Georgia, but now I get to have that passion as a head coach. Georgia is not just about your gymnastics. It's not just about that, but it's building you as a person for life. Georgia Gymnastics will win championships again. Go dogs. Inside Georgia Basketball is brought to you by AT&T. Works the dribble, hooks a pass to, oh my goodness, to Ogbede, and he monster dunks it with two powerful hands. First, Moses, oh, blocked at the jumper, uh, at the foul line, blocked by Ogbede. Front court, drives across the top of the key, down the lane, bounce pass around the defender, to Ogbede, who slams it with two hands. Oh, he did a nice spin move in the lane, and just flushed that one. I, I was uh, recruited uh, out of Pembroke High School, and um, I nailed it down. Uh, made some key decisions and came down to like, my memory, like my top three or top two. And uh, talked with it amongst family and coaches. And, uh, you know, after my visit here, you know, it, it almost felt like felt like a home. This is what my, my primary recruiting coach told me, you know. So it was, he told me to touch his G, touch his G on his chest, and I touched it. And, you know, I, I, I guess I felt the power so to speak, so it, it, felt, it felt like home. He, I remember going to see him at Pepperbrook High School one September with the only, the only college that's in the gym. And I said, who is that big old dude? He got some big old tree trunk legs. And he was still developing off, an, an offensive game. He was more so a defender and rebounder. Uh, and, but that's a dude that fundamentally, love, fundamentally loves Georgia. And so fortunate enough, we got big Derek, big Ogbede. He's on our roster trying to do big things. <laughs> I have family everywhere, got almost quite literally everywhere. So I have lots of lots of family in Nigeria, especially, and uh, aunties and uncles in, in England and Canada. Uh, well, I was born in Nigeria. Uh, I grew up in England, uh, where my childhood, uh, most of it is. And uh, I, I started playing basketball, probably organized uh, when I got to Canada. And uh, from then, uh, maybe the, the, the ninth grade, the eighth, the eighth and ninth grade, is, uh, is when I really started to put a, a, a certain level of seriousness in basketball. He does speak multiple languages. I couldn't tell you what he um, what he speaks, but uh, yeah, he speaks multiple languages. He got some type of language I think he made up that he talks to the guys and jibber jabber before the games in their little old hood. I don't know what in God's name he's saying, but he does it. And this new chopper on ain't blue. I'm burning off a of ah. custodian at the school. Rocking with him. I don't make it make it though. I can look like a corner off the top. The, the language that George thinks in the real language is Pigeon English, which is it's kind of like a language, but it's like a combination of English at the same time. It's, it's twisted and a little hard to understand, but it's, it's, it's simple at the same time. So he, he sometimes doesn't think it's an actual language. You think I'm just I'm making things up as I just speak, but I'm, I, I promise him it's, it's a real language. It's, uh, I speak a little bit of French, uh, English, of course, and uh, Yoruba, Igbo, and uh, Edo, my native language as well. He is a spirit of my own. He's a guy that loves to pontificate. Uh, he has the gift of gab, uh, but he's an unbelievable spirit. Of course, um, you know, he's one of those guys that you can always count on having a positive spirit. And you know, it's, it's like I always tell these guys, you have to let your light shine regardless of what your situation. Uh, may present itself or what your, your situation may be. And he's one of those guys, his counter is always lit. Now that doesn't mean he does everything right. You know? So we have to really you know, put our foot up his backside every now and again. But I really do appreciate his spirit that he brings on a daily basis. Off the court, off the court I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big goofy, uh, silly, funny uh, joke, jokes around quite a bit. And uh, you know, on the court, um, really it's like a switch almost because I, um, Right before games, I you know I, I I get real serious, but then I remember, you know, of course, to go out there and have fun and do what you love. Hey and that's what I also appreciate about him. In the locker room, he holds court. You know, on the basketball court, he holds court. He, he brings a lot of energy and he's a real positive person. And on the court, you know, he's a big bruiser. It's not many, not too many people that can handle him when he's when he's got has it going. Straight away three flat. Oh my goodness, he missed it. But look at Big Derek with the follow and a two-handed monster dunk. Good spins on the block, jump hook with the left hand, good by the big man, Derek Ogbede. Well, 
I, I definitely want to further my career as most I can, you know, continue to play to the, the, the highest level that I possibly can and, and really just keep on going, keep advancing. Um, that's uh, as far as my personal goals. Of course, we have we have uh, goals as a team, as a unit as well. But I uh, really want to expand my career, play as long as I possibly can, and of course, get a degree at this beautiful school. Stephanie Paul in the lane for five feet. He scores, and Georgia wins. A thrilling finish. Three head of the key. She got it. Turn feet. It's good at the buzzer. Everyone has a thing. That binge watch over the weekend thing. More checking in or checking out thing. No, 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 no. That triple double thing. Doing it yourself, attacking a friend thing. More revolutions in the making thing. That play like a girl thing. <laughs> that four legged friends thing. AT&T gives you more for your thing. More entertainment, internet, and unlimited plans. More for your thing. Yeah, that's our thing. A long way from 79 to 82. <laughs> well, it definitely would enhance it greatly because you know, you know, kids love to come to a beautiful arena and and have the ability to say, hey, you know, I played here. You know, this is somewhere that they they can be proud of, and that's what universities do. That's what it's supposed to be—a place where you come to be proud to play. Inside Georgia Basketball is brought to you by AT&T. Growing up, I can remember my consciousness about Georgia basketball. Uh, it was, I guess, peaked when they made a run to the Sweet 16. And I was probably 14, 15 years old. Uh, since that moment, I was starting to um, pay closer attention to Georgia and realize one day I want to go, I may have an opportunity. Well, if I ever have the opportunity to go to my state school, I would like to go there. Ironically enough, my brother and I, we were only getting recruited by three teams together. Uh, Mercer University, uh, Jacksonville State, and Western Carolina University. So we chose Western Carolina University on the strength of a relationship. Well, when God closes one door, he opens another one. Uh, after that season, our coaches were relieved, broke our hearts, broke our hearts. But soon after, we decided to transfer, and my brother, I already knew we were going to come back to the state of Georgia when University of Georgia called. And I think it was the greatest decision, the greatest opportunity that we've had. Well, number one for me, more than anything, is home. and. And my brother and I was, Jarvis and I was talking about this the other day, being able to be at a university and play high level basketball and your family can cherish and share in that event with you, sharing that um, experience with you, that's something I would absolutely take for the rest of my life and that is huge to me, that is huge. Our family loves Georgia so much that we made, it, we made a Georgia Bulldog song that we would get around our you know, dinner table and we'd just have fun just singing that song. No, well, I have to have my, I have to have my family with me. So it, it, only, it, won't, it won't sound good as a solo. It has to be, a, has to be a, a, us as a group. No, no, no. What? Georgia Bulldog. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia Bulldog. All stuff like that. This goes all on and on and on and on and on. Jonas is probably the most vibrant, liveliest uh, personality on the team. He's just a, always a bright personality. 
Well, he's by far the most positive coach, and he has a great personality. He's always smiling, even after a loss. So he, you won't find him sulking or complaining at all. He's always positive, and he, he knows how to get on you when, when it needs to be. Yeah, you always try to create an experience, create an atmosphere where they are enjoying learning and being successful all at the same time. Now, that does not mean you won't have any choice words for them, uh, but there's a lot of power in a positive tongue. Believe it or not, there's a lot of power in a positive thought. Whatever you think you are, whatever you believe, and that's what you really believe in your heart, that's what it will be. And even with him, of course, you know, everybody goes through their trials and tribulations, but, but he'll, never, he'll, he'll never show it. You know, he's, he's been through so much, you know, this past year, uh, the, the, the previous year, and, you know, gone through his, his fair share. But you'll, you'll, you'll never see or never notice it because he, he keeps that, that amazing spirit going and still smiles and, and is still showing love. I try to keep that mindset to have a culture and an atmosphere followed by Coach Fox, uh, following Coach Fox, and just uh, create an atmosphere where our guys will be learning and having uh, great experiences. Well, when I when I first came came in as a freshman, you know, it was it was we we I had I had, you know deer in the headlights. I had so much to learn then, and I, of course I still do. But uh, you know, Jonas made it you know his personal personal mission. And, to, to really put me on his wing, so to speak, and, and show me everything that he possibly could. Well, after my four years of our daily interaction with our guys are over, uh, they'll forget some of the things I've told them, they'll forget some of the things I've done for them or to them, but they won't ever forget how I made them feel. And so that's in keeping with the creating the atmosphere where our guys can enjoy the process of getting better. Because every day is won't be you won't be having sunshines and milk and cream, you know, peaches in the sky. You know, you're gonna have some adversity, but if you can keep your eye on the thought of getting yourself, making each day your masterpiece, take one day at a time. Uh, I think that kind of shrinks the focus on just each day, and um, worry about those experiences and staying positive. Everyone has a thing. That binge watch over the weekend thing. More checking in or checking out thing. No, 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 no. That triple double thing. Doing it yourself, attacking a friend thing. More revolutions in the making thing. That play like a girl thing. <laughs> that four legged friends thing. AT&T gives you more for your thing. More entertainment, internet, and unlimited plans. More for your thing. Yeah, that's our thing. A long way from 79 to 82. <laughs> well, it definitely would enhance it greatly because you know, you know, kids love to come to a beautiful arena and and have the ability to say, hey, you know, I played here. You know, this is somewhere that they they can be proud of, and that's what the universities do. That's what it's supposed to be—a place where you come to be proud to play. so thankful and grateful for this chance to show the passion that I had while I was a gymnast at Georgia, but now I get to have that passion as a head coach. Georgia is not just about your gymnastics. It's not just about that, but it's building you as a person for life. Georgia Gymnastics will win championships again. Go dogs. It's what gets us up early and sets us into motion every single day. It's commitment, and it starts with just showing up. Mornings in the gym, nights in the lab, and all day, every day. It's why we fight a little harder, aim a little higher, and reach a little further. Because with every solution, every realization, and every time we commit to perfection, we find greatness. Inside Georgia Basketball is brought to you by AT&T. Only three regular season games remain as the Bulldogs try to keep their tournament hopes afloat. It's Georgia and LSU from Athens this afternoon. LSU obviously is a team that has great, um, 
you know, great firepower and a tremendous backcourt player and, and um, you know, a front line that, that, that shoots a three. So they're an interesting, you know, matchup for, for everybody. But, but uh, for our guys, it's about, you know, doing the things necessary to try and win. Their team is playing, you know, significantly better, I think, now than they were then. Uh, they've improved, as most teams do throughout the year. And it'll take a complete effort to win. LSU wins the opening tap, and we are underway in Stegman at Athens. Over to Parker, deep in the corner. Jawan with a three to tie it up. Kick into the corner, Epps for a three, and he knocks it down. We don't want to get into a three-point shooting contest with these guys. Over to Hightower. Dogs run the other way. Tishon slashes through the lane. Throws up a one-hander. Going diagonally. He got fouled. The boss basket goes. So the Dogs with six straight to take their first lead early here in the ball game. Georgia and Georgia rebounds and plays defense. Georgia wins. It's that simple. Feed it overhead bullet pass to Ogbede, and that time he finished as he slashed through the lane, took a nice feed from Jawan Parker, and got the two point. Turtle spins, finds Hammonds along the baseline, glides up and in, double pump. He got fouled. Tower works against Daryl Edwards, hooks a pass to his left. To Mate, puts it on the floor, pump fake, up and in with a one-handed dunk for Yate. Great assist from Tashawn Hightower. Pass to Crump, he's open, pump fake, jump pass to Jackson. He will shoot, Turtle for three, go yes. Turtle with his first three-pointer of the contest as Turtle dribbles, moves left behind the screen, shoots a three on the move, rattles off. Oh, made a bit of one-handed rebound and a putback. It looked good. They're looking at it. They're looking at it just to admire it. It was definitely good. <laughs> at the end of the half, we'll send Georgia into the locker room with an 11-point lead, 45 to 34. Dogs with the first eight points. Now make it 11. Parker with a three. Is it around the rim? Good from the left corner. Front court to Mate runs down the lane to Ogbede. Back to Mate for a one-handed dunk. LSU didn't know where the ball was. Maiden had it with a one-handed slam -a -roo. The dogs have jacked up the lead to 19 points. You know, too many times this year we've seen the dogs come out of the locker room with a lead and then come out soft. But boy, that was not the case today. Dogs run it up the floor in a hurry. Wrap around Hammonds to Yante, coming in from the left block for a one-handed jam. That's the way you beat the press. You don't, you don't want to see them let up. You want to see them keep doing. Look, listen, they've, they've been playing great basketball, entertaining basketball. But you know what? It's been exciting for the fans, and the fans are really into it. Georgia's done a great job rebounding the basketball, which is why we've got this 16-point uh, lead right now. And the cheers will rain down on this Georgia team that scores a season-high 93 points. And that's the ball game, folks. Georgia, a winner over LSU, 93 to 82. We had some offense today. I just think we just played as a unit together, and that really just gave us uh, the upper hand in the game. Main thing, just having fun on the court. And that was the thing the whole time, just have fun, make smart plays and don't do nothing uh, kind of bad and not like that, just make smart plays. So that was really it. You know, we were able to play from in front. Um, and um, you know, we haven't practiced in here much. And so I was a little concerned how we'd shoot the ball. I don't know if that attributed to our poor start from the three-point line or a poor foul shooting. Um, but we were able to, to play from in front. We got a big tip in at the end of the half, which gave us some more momentum. Um, and then, you know, when you have a cushion like that, you can afford a couple mistakes. At one time, we had three freshmen on the court. Uh, they're in, in, in the game, and, and um, those guys are going to make some errors. And But we're starting to trust them more and more. And uh, we just feel, you know, just feel fortunate that we had that lead so we could, we could play through those mistakes.